Good morning and hello, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review and uh, Forex Briefing for uh, Saturday the 17th of December 2022. It's a sort of Christmas edition as well, so uh, anyway, we've got no racing for yesterday to review. Uh, so the account static at uh, plus 50.6 units in profit, from a peak of 72. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right, so no filter one today, no ratio, we do have an alternate, and we're at Lingford on the all weather. So last race, 3.33. Uh, it's, uh, it's a listed race, uh, it's the Quebec Stakes, uh, Class 1, 3 or plus 10 furlong uh, stakes, uh, Model 94, <coughs> excuse me again, it's uh, reasonably quick on the all-weather, uh, 10 furlongs. Uh, and uh, and the, the six in the race, um, the first four, uh, one to four, um, Algiers, Forrest of Dean, Harrovian and Tyson Fury, all raced uh, in the Churchill Stakes, uh, on the 12th of the 11th, uh, which is another listed race at Lingfield, and um, uh, that, that uh, uh, race uh, is uh, carved up as follows, really. So uh, they're coming in off the back of this, uh, this listed previous race, uh, and um, uh, what are we talking about? So, uh, so Algiers is the likely favourite. Um, it was second in, in that listed race, uh, and uh, uh, it basically it was, it was up with the pace, uh, kicked on, and then faded. Uh, relatively easy trip. Uh, the, sec the third horse, uh, number three, Harrovian, uh, with third. Uh, mid move uh, is probably not good enough. Um, Forrester Dean was fifth, uh, we don't think it's good enough. And uh, Tyson Fury, sixth. Uh, a relatively difficult early trip, but uh, we don't think it's going to be good enough. So that leaves us with the these other two. Uh, number five, Yorkshire Lady, uh, which uh, again uh, we've had a look at and we don't think it's got the pace. Uh, so the last one is our horse, which is uh, uh, making me do it, number six. Um, and what do we know about that? Uh, well, it raced at Salisbury, 10 furlongs, uh, uh, good to firm, model 90, fair bit slower, uh, uh, where it won nicely. Then at Yarmouth, 10 furlong, good. Uh, and uh, Lingfield, uh, it was in a listed race, it was in uh, uh, a listed race uh, there. Uh, which was very strong, and if you look at that uh, that race, it was uh, as we say, it was very strong, a lot of strength in depth, and uh, uh, making me do it is is a uh, is an A mover in our terms. So uh, it's it's uh, it's got the right credentials. It's a three-year-old filly, so it gets uh, it gets a three-year-old allowance of two pounds weight for age. It gets a five-pound uh, sex allowance basically for being a filly against uh, colts. Uh, so it's got seven pounds. Uh, it's got Haley Turner on board, uh, and it's uh, it's a nice horse generally. Uh, and if you watch its last uh, uh, its last run uh, at, uh, at Lingfield, uh, it's it, it, uh, won very nicely and is an A mover. So uh, what have we done? We've done four pound per eight pound units. That's four hundred pounds on at nine to one, uh, and we've got it. We've cascaded the places on that. Uh, so we've got a pound on three places at about 10 to 11, just evens more or less. Uh, a pound on at, uh, at 9 to 4 for, for two places, so two and a quarter. So, uh, so we're looking at six pounds per eight pound unit, 600 pounds on for us, uh, and 0 0.75 exposure, uh, and that's where we are. So um, so how do you expect that horse to run? Well, it's, uh, it's drawn two. Uh, it, it's likely to tuck in uh, midfield towards the rear uh, and then uh, as the others tie up uh, it's going to come charging through uh, off the bend and hopefully win. Um, this horse Algiers is likely to uh, is likely to be up with the pace and try and kick on like it did in the last race and try and hold on this time but uh, uh, we don't think that will happen so uh, anyway that's that's what we're doing so uh, we're going to go we've got a cascade each way on uh, this number six uh, make making me do it, a uh, three-year-old filly, which uh, looks to be improving and has all the uh, attributes of, uh, of a decent horse. So uh, that's there. Forex, um, Forex we didn't have a go yesterday uh, and uh, we're sort of building a case for uh, next week, uh, so we'll keep you briefed up on that. Uh, but um, but generally uh, things are moving on, on the Forex market for us. So. Uh, so we're in terms of uh, scaling up and all the rest of it. So uh, anyway, um, you'll have to let us know in the comments if there's anything particularly you want to talk about on Forex market. Uh, and uh, otherwise, we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and goodbye.